Hey, welcome to Learn Algebra Faster. In this video, we're going to discuss how to find the median of a set of numbers. And what the median is, is we will take this set of numbers, order them from least to greatest, and then we will find the number that is in the middle. And that is the median. So for this set of numbers, we'll go ahead and first we need to put everything in order. For median, it's important to order all the numbers from least to greatest. Okay, so we'll start off and it looks like 10 is the least number that we have. So we'll put it first. We have another 10, so we'll put it second. We have an 11. We have a 12. 13, we do not have a 14, we have a 15, we have 1, 2, 3 16's, so be sure and list them all. We do not have a 17, we do have an 18, we have a 19, We have a 20, the next is 21, then 25, 27, and finally our biggest number is 29. Okay, for median it is important to go lowest to highest. Now we need to find the number that's in the middle. Okay, and we do that by counting how many numbers are in the set and that's important. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 numbers. Okay. So if we have 16 numbers, we need to we need to find which one is in the middle. Okay? But whenever you have an even number in your set, it's a little bit tricky because there are two numbers that are in the middle. So actually, if we were to mark off everything, if we were to mark off the edges one by one and work our way all the way into the middle, you would see that we actually have two middle numbers. In this case, it works out perfectly. Since both of them are 16, our median is 16, okay? So that works out that works out really well. Sometimes what will happen is you'll have two middle numbers that are not the same. So perhaps 16 and 17. If this were the case and these two numbers were in the middle, you would add them and divide by 2, which would give you 16.5 as your median, okay? So whenever you have an even number of data points in the set, you have a calculation potentially. Okay? In this particular case we had the same number in the middle so it is the median so for this set 16 is the median but normally we'll have to do some sort of calculation let's move on to uh, another example okay this data set is a little smaller but we still need to put everything in order so we need to start by finding the smallest number which looks like it is 39. Then we do not have a 40, 41, or 42. The next number is 43. Looks like it goes all the way to 49. 50 is next. fifty two fifty five fifty seven sixty one sixty four and we have two sixty fives okay once again to find the number in the middle let's find out how many there are 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so for 11, we know that the sixth one will be in the middle. And we can do this by counting off slowly from each side. There's one from each side, two from each side, three from each side, four from each side, five from each side, and we know that this one is the middle of the set, so our median is 55. So always remember when you're trying to find the median, it's important to the number to put everything in order from least to greatest, and then you always find the middle one. If there are two middle numbers, you add them and divide by two to find the median. So don't worry if you end up getting a decimal number, that's perfectly fine. Stick to your guns. Um, the median is always the value in the middle. If there are two, then you find the middle point between them. Thanks, and if you want to catch more videos on mean median mode, head over to learnalgebrafaster.com. Thanks.